You won't believe the transformation we made in this awkwardly shaped room by adding hidden storage everywhere. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. Today I want to show you how we gave my friend Danielle's basement an extreme makeover. This is the most awkwardly shaped room I have ever had the experience of designing and I think you're gonna love this transformation. So if you have an awkward room that needs multi, multi levels of function, you are gonna love this room makeover. Meet my friend Danielle. She's a busy mom of three boys and she's a teacher at our local school. The past couple of years have been a huge challenge for her. She's had to teach from home for a long period of time while trying to manage her kids and her busy life. Danielle's dreamed of having her basement renovated for a long time so it would give herself, her husband, and her kids more room to enjoy life and work at home. She's hired my husband Sean to do the basement renovation and I wanted to gift her with the design and styling of the space. She's so deserving of this makeover and I can't wait to get into it. So we use this space mostly as a storage room. We store a lot of food down here and it's also a playroom for our boys. We store all of their toys are kept down here. Their train table is down here. So it's uh, multi-purpose. The things that I like least about this space is that it's not finished, that there's um, a lack of sensible storage. So we have you know, things in makeshift places, but nothing really has a spot, as well as I find it's really dark down here. So when my kids want to play, they don't want to play in somewhere that's dark and dingy. They would rather be upstairs with us. So it's not bright and it's not functional. This is the most awkwardly shaped room I've ever seen. So let's talk about how we're going to lay out this floor plan. And I'm going to show you the mood board that I made up for this space. The basement consists of a main area with the utility room right here, which kind of divides the space up in a really awkward manner. We also have a five foot height storage here and then back here is actually another interesting little storage area. There's also a bedroom and a bathroom in this basement, but I'm going to show you the before and after and the makeover of those spaces in a little bit. So stay tuned later for those. Right now we're going to focus on this main space and here's what I want to do. So Sean is going to frame off the utility room. There's going to be a door here to make that accessible. That's going to create a little TV nook right here. We're going to place a nice comfy sofa here. And then on the storage wall side, we're going to have a little nook for Danielle's freezer where she stores her frozen goods, a little half wall area, kind of a little secret hobbit hole almost I'm calling it for shelves for all of her dry goods by the stairs. And then we're gonna create a custom barn door here so she has access to even more storage that's in this nook. The utility room creates this relatively awkward L shape. So Sean's gonna frame out this corner closet. It has to conceal some utilities here. And then in this closet, Danielle can store some of her cleaning supplies, can put shelves up for other things. That creates the perfect nook where we can do a built-in desk with some Ikea products, hide the electrical panel, two people can work here. And then here we're gonna have some floor to ceiling storage for toys, office supplies, etc. As for the mood board for this space, we're keeping it rustic, modern, industrial. So we have lots of black and white, just nice neutral tones with some warm browns. And then the accent color is gonna be this really deep navy blue. It's almost a black. I'm using a color on one of the walls called Blue Note by Benjamin Moore. If you're interested in any of these products that I am using in today's makeover, make sure to check out the link in the description box below. All right, let's get started on this big renovation. To begin, Sean's reframing the basement so that we can make the food storage wall look like it belongs to the space, add in a corner closet in the office area, and section off that utility room. Next, he's drywalling, mudding, and taping the basement. Now it's time for paint. Benjamin Moore gifted us some paint so we can pass on the love to Danielle and we're opting for a light warm white on the walls called Sea Pearl and a dramatic blue black on this corner wall called Blue Note.
Meanwhile, I'm painting all the doors and trim with a beautiful true white that I love called Chantilly Lace. Make sure to check out the description box below for the list and links to everything that I'm using in this makeover. We also have Matree on board, my favorite place to find doors and trim, and they sent Danielle these beautiful doors that are in the Option M farmhouse line, as well as some beautiful baseboard and casing. After the paint was done, we took a little break and had carpet installed by a subcontractor. Ikea Edmonton also wanted to gift Danielle some items to make her space serve all of its multi-functions. For the office corner, I'm assembling and installing Ikea Havista cabinets. They go from the floor to the ceiling and offer the closed storage for toys and office supplies that Danielle and her family desperately need in this space. They also gave us the perfect industrial look TV stand for the TV area and some filing cabinets and a gorgeous countertop to create the perfect little office nook. Okay, we gotta go straight. We gotta go straight. Whoa, nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> One thing works the first time. <laughs> Now it's time for all those final little renovation details like caulking and touch-up paint. And honestly, this always takes way longer than anticipated, but all these little details are worth it. This is your Thanks, favorite Sean. part of the reno, huh? This is my favorite part of the reno. Sean yes, loves honey. all the details. I can <laughs> not help myself at how happy I am that it takes like four days of details at the end of a job. Mm -hmm. To cover one of the little storage areas, Sean hacked a DIY barn style door out of the existing barn door. I stained it a beautiful deep brown color and we added some gate hardware. And I love how it adds so much character to this corner of the basement. <laughs> It's my favorite part, styling the space. One of my favorite pieces we're installing is this gorgeous Italian leather sofa that's a gift from Sofa Land. It's the perfect modern style for Danielle's aesthetic and it's easy to clean for a family-friendly space. I'm also adding some life to this basement with these plants that are a gift from Plantsum. They're all easy care plants that don't need a lot of light or maintenance. Throw pillows in shades of blue help tie everything together, and these two office chairs are perfect for this nook. Now I'm gonna use one of my favorite hacks for large artwork in a space. I found free printable Lego patent art online. I will link it in the description box below. I sent the files to Staples Copy and Print Center, and then I had them print them out as 24 inch by 36 inch engineering prints. Those are only $4 each. Placing them in these large IKEA frames and they're an inexpensive way to make some giant art that is a fantastic scale for this room and matches the industrial look aesthetic. I think Danielle's boys are gonna totally love these. I also found an ottoman that doubles as storage and a tray to put in this living area. We don't wanna fill it up with a huge coffee table because we wanna be able to put the train table here and have a lot of room for the boys to play. Plus, I had this clock on hand that covered the humidifier behind here perfectly. So Danielle has been following along on the renovation, but she hasn't seen the space completely styled and all finished. So I'm gonna bring her down here and see what she thinks. So Danielle's coming down the stairs. Are you ready to see your I'm new face? So basement? excited. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> I love it. I love it. This is amazing. So, so good. Mm -hmm. So warm. I love it. So we have this amazing Italian leather couch. So I tried to add some of the blue from the walls into the couch with some accent pillows. And I want to show you those. This is really cool. So this could be extra seating or you can flip it like this and it's a little chunky. I love it. That's yeah. so cool. And then you have your storage in here. So it's kind of like a little secret. I like both of these because they're kind of like little secret doors. That one. Awesome. And then we built this custom door for you here. And we have more secret storage in here. It looks great. Storage, storage. Let's go over to the office now, okay? 
Okay, so we have this floor to ceiling storage and you have all of your toys in here, games, office supplies, and just like you like it, it's all hidden. <laughs> yeah, so we're not awesome. seeing everything everywhere. I love this basement because it's hidden storage everywhere. Hidden, hidden, hidden. And then even behind this clock, we have hiding your uh, humidifier there. Oh, that's amazing. So, you would never know that it's yeah. back there. <laughs> I love these. They're cute, hey? I love them. Yeah, I feel like this is like a rustic modern vibe in here, right? So we have just the sleek modern lines, but then we have a little bit of rustic with the leather, tying it in with the pillows. And then we have this huge desk. It's like eight feet long so that amazing. you and hubby can work here or the kids can do art. We have the electrical panel, again, hiding. We have the utility room hidden behind this door as well. So everything is just nice and covered and crisp. And then a cute little spot for your kids to hang out their art. So love it. What do you think of Danielle's basement? I love how it turned out. I'm so happy that Danielle and her family are happy with it. I hope they get to spend so many fantastic family nights down here, enjoying each other and enjoying this space. Let me know what you think of this space and what your favorite part is down in those comments below. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the bedroom and the bathroom makeover in this basement. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will love watching next right up here.